All right, so now you've done your data analysis uh, for your factorial uh, design. You had uh, two uh, factors, gender and stress, and a dependent variable of uh, weight. Let's go ahead and share with our reader the results that you found out. So we have uh, the data was analyzed using a 2x2 two two ANOVA. The first two indicates that our variable gender had two levels, male and female. The second two indicates that our other variable, stress, had two levels, mid-level stress and high-level stress. When someone reads this first sentence, they'll know that you had one, two, that you had two factors, and that each factor had two levels. ANOVA stands for Analysis of Variance. Analysis of Variance is when we compare the difference between the group means to the difference within the groups. And if the difference between the group means is much larger than we would expect, based upon the difference within the groups, we get to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so we said there was a main effect of weight with males weighing more than females. Okay, that was true of our sample. The question is, based upon our sample, assuming that it's representative, should we generalize to the population? Well, we take a look uh, over here at our uh, results, and we see that for gender, here's our row, and we want to uh, take a look at uh, the significance level. That is a probability that this difference in our sample, if the null hypothesis is true, was due to sampling error. Essentially it says zero. For null hypothesis true, the probability of getting this due to sampling error is essentially zero. We should reject the null hypothesis. The F statistic lets us know just how, uh, how many standard errors was there between our two group means. Uh, 20.28, that's huge. And then degrees of freedom, that's the number of groups minus one. How many uh, values were free to vary? Okay, let's share this with our reader. So here we go, uh, F, because it's an ANOVA, uh, and then open parentheses, uh, our degrees of freedom for between groups, one. We had two groups, two minus one is one. And uh, the degrees of freedom for within groups, that comes here from our error term. It's 16. Okay. And this is equal to, as we pointed out, 20.28. Uh, and the probability of getting this huge difference between the sample means, and by that I mean in terms of number of standard errors between them, uh, probability is less than 0.05. So we get to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, there was also a main effect of stress level with self-identified highly stressed people weighing more than mid-level stressed people. Okay, so again, should we generalize the results of our sample to the uh, population? Let's look at the uh, results for stress level. Okay, so for stress, uh, the probability that the null hypothesis is true and this difference in our uh, sample occurred due to sampling error is 0.001. That is extremely uh, infrequent. Uh, this p-value is less than 0.05. We're going to be able to reject the null hypothesis. Let's uh, share the information needed with our reader. Okay, so F, the degrees of freedom for uh, stress, well, there was two levels, uh, mid and high, so number of groups minus one. 2 minus 1, we have 1 degree of freedom. Uh, our degrees of freedom for within groups is going to be uh, just the same as for uh, gender, it's 16. It is equal to uh, 18.10, and our p-value is less than uh, 0.05. So our reader knows we get to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, finally, there was an interaction between gender and stress level with a bigger weight gain associated with males undergoing high level of stress compared to females. Okay, so let's report the results. F, our degrees of freedom for gender by stress is 1 for that um, between groups. Uh, degrees of freedom for within is 16. The F value is 5.98. and the p-value is less than 0.05. All right, and last thing, you want to italicize all of your f's since this is an inferential uh, statistic. And then you're good to go.